Today on the workbench, I've got a new project here. This is a Proto 1000. It's the B unit of a C liner. So, this should be a relatively simple project because there's no lighting. Uh, yeah, no lighting in it. So, what I'm going to use is a Decoder Buddy uh, Mini in this. I'm also going to be installing a, one of the <clears throat> new Blue Nami decoders. You can see the, the number right there on it. And I'm going to put a Scale Sound Systems speaker in this. This is for the C-Liner. And we'll also be using a TCS KA1 Keep Alive. So let's jump into this. This is uh, DC. I, I believe it's DC. This is brand new out of the box. But uh, I may have to take it apart and isolate the motor. But to pull this apart, to pull the shell off, you just basically pull the sides apart and lift up. And that's that's it. So you can see it's got some detail on it. Of course they do have this marked as front. You can see that little F. And so they're made just like the, the A units. So we'll set that off to the side. We'll set that down. And yeah, we'll just end up pulling this board out. We'll go ahead and do that. Down out of there. Get that out. Pull them little clips off for the wiring. Just pulling these little black pieces off. Get that out of there. Then we've got our motor here that we can pull off. So there's all of that. And really, there is nothing to this thing. Now, I may use one of the bigger decoder buddies just to have a little more to mount to. Of course, I guess I could just lay it right here on top of the motor. Maybe that'll be the way to go. Of course, if I do that... <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to get one of the bigger decoder buddies just because the wires are so short. And I don't want to have to extend the wiring. Because if I do that, well, I can. Yeah. I'll do that. I'll pull these trucks out. And uh, use new wire on them. So that'll make this project just a touch longer, but it's really not hard to do. So let's go through the process of pulling one of them out. So basically these just clip in. Well, if I can get it to... Almost off into the nether, but yeah, we'll just pull that out. Runs nice and smooth. And so what I'm going to do is just unsolder these and put a longer, put longer wire on them. 
So let's see, I've got this heated up. We just pull our wire off. No biggie. And then I'll get my wire out and I'll wire these up and then I'll come back and show you what I did. Because this is going to be one of those uh, lather or rinse lather repeat. So anyway, I'll go ahead and do the, the two trucks and then we'll get the decoder buddy mounted and then we'll get our speaker and everything in there. Okay. I've brought you back here and I've did a little, well, I, I wire, rewired the trucks uh, with longer wire. I actually did place the decoder buddy uh, on the motor. I used double-sided tape for that. And I've, I've hooked up the, uh, the two motor terminals, soldered them in right there. Uh, so, yeah, I've, and I've got all this prepped. So I just need to hook up the, uh, get that out of the way a little bit. I just need to hook up these two, the track pickups, and then I've even went ahead and pre-wired the, uh, the, the speaker. So let's go ahead and we'll put our wires on, grab our tweezers. Let me zoom in here a little bit that way you can maybe see what pads I'm using get a different pair of tweezers that wire was wanting to twist on me Then we'll move up here to the front. So there's our wiring for that. Uh, now we'll move back here to the back. The speaker just mounts like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull that wire up so it won't be touching. So I'm gonna take and put uh, some double-sided tape On the, on the rails of that, if that makes sense. But I'm going to clean that off first. So I didn't prep it entirely. Oh, we'll kind of clean that off. And then I want to clean off right there. down through there to dry it up a little bit. Of course I've got our double-sided tape here. This is a 3M double-sided tape.
and I know that's a little long, but make sure that's stuck down good. Well, if I could grab a hold of that. Well, I have it started there. I just can't. seem to fight that every time. So there's our speaker. And I'll run it over to the two speaker pads. And positive and negative really doesn't matter here. This paste flux is a Radio Shack brand paste flux. I know some people will ask that question. The liquid I use is a Kester's 188. this the way I wanted to. Turn it this way. And I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but this is an ESU wire. So there's that. Now we're down to the Keep Alive. And, uh, and then we can install the decoder. But let me get that out. I'll be back here in a minute. All right, so we're back here with our uh, Keep Alive. And <clears throat> I don't really have a good place to mount it right here. I mean, I could probably make a, a little board or something to mount that in. But I think instead just for the interest of time is I'm going to take and mount it up in the top of the shell because I've got plenty of room so I'll mount it here in the top of the shell and that way I don't have to make anything modify anything
like I say, this doesn't have any lights in it or nothing, so it's not going to be hard to take apart. So I'll get out the mounting tape again. And I just run a strip right down the center of that. And we'll get this thing mounted in here. So that's really easy. Bring this over. Of course, we've got our wires here. And we've got our two... Oh, got our two pads for our keep alive, positive in the ground, the blue is the positive wire, and there's our ground. So now we're ready to uh, put this thing together and uh, yeah all I got to do is put the decoder in it. So I'm going to put the decoder in it and then basically I'm done. I'll, I'll be back here after I get it all back together. Today on the workbench I've got a new project here. This is a uh, C liner. It's a Proto 1000 and it's brand new out of the box and we're going to be adding DCC to this. We're going to be putting in one of the new Blue Nami 28 or 21 pin decoders. You can see the number there for it. So we've got that for it. We're going to be putting a uh, TCS KA1 Keep Alive I've got a scale sound system speaker to put in this and that is for the C liner and then we've got our decoder buddy mini that we're going to put in here. Now this is going to be a really simple install. Of course I say that and I'll run into problems here in a minute. But uh, so basically it's just going to have sound and there is only there's only one light. The number boards are solid. They don't. They're not lit. Um, so yeah, this this should be really simple to do. I'll change out the couplers, and the other thing that we'll do is include. I'm going to include in this video the uh, the B unit because I have the B unit for it also. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started here. We got to take that front coupler out to get this thing apart. And this just you just spread, pull the sides apart, and it should just drop right apart or come right apart. Now both of these locomotives, and that's bent a little bit. That step, anyway. Um, yeah, both of these locomotives were are DC only. That I'll include in this. And I mean, there's nothing really special to them. They are nice and heavy units. So let's go ahead and we'll get started with this thing. I'll probably keep the headlight the same. I'll change it out to an LED, but I'll keep it in that light pipe. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a really simple install. This new speaker set back in here. 
we'll put this up there and so let's just get into it here and I'll probably I'll cut away at some point and I will do a lot of the prep work off camera there's no need for you to watch me tin and flux wires and all of that if you're putting in a decoder more than likely you know how to tin and flux a wire so we've just got two screws here in this board pull all these plastic clips off for their wiring so there's our there's our board and I will pull these trucks out to add different wire to them so really we just need two colors of wire this is ESU wire so I've basically included all the manufacturers, all the big manufacturers in this build. ESU wire, TCS Keep Alive, <laughs> Soundtracks Decoder. Um, if I had uh, something from Digitrax, I'd add that in there. But uh, yeah, I mean it's really simple to take apart. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull these uh, the trucks off so I can change out the wire because I, these aren't long enough now the other thing this uh, locomotive came factory DC but this motor is uh, isolated from the frame so we don't have to do anything to isolate the motor from the frame it's already good and then let's go ahead I'm gonna pull one of these it's kind of hard to get to there we go pull this truck out of here that way you can see what I'm going to do and these gears they feel good so I don't think I'll have to replace the gears but yeah I'm just going to replace this wire put some black black and red wire on these I'll do that for both the front and the rear I'll do that off camera the other thing I'll do off camera is I'll go ahead and tin up this board and uh, I'll probably add a, a thousand ohm resistor for the uh, for the headlight so that'll work out so saying all that let's uh, get started on this and when I get this stuff prepped back or prepped I'll be back okay so I've went ahead and I've prepped up the decoder buddy I did put a uh, this is a thousand ohm resistor right there for the front headlight uh, got the double-sided tape on the back here we're ready to put it in I am going to take and solder this uh, motor connection down first because it, it'll be easier to get to uh, of course I've got the speaker here wired and it's ready to be the wires are ready to be trimmed I've got the trucks ready to be hooked into the decoder buddy front and rear and then if you look at the shell I've got the, the keep alive hooked in there and I did replace the uh, headlight that's an 0603 
LED bulb, warm white. And I've got that ready to go. It's drying right now. I've I put, actually put some liquid black tape around it. It's got some heat shrink around the, the original light tube and then some liquid black tape just to keep that from bleeding through. So now let me go ahead and like I say, I'm, I'm going to hook this motor up. And I'll trim that off. So I've got everything pretty much ready to go here. Now I'll peel this off. Yeah, that one one connection be hard to would be hard to get. Well, I've got a wire stuck under there that I don't want stuck under there. So there's that. Now we can go ahead with the rest of our connections. I'll trim that wire off a little bit. And I'll zoom down in here. Oop. That way you can see what I am trying to accomplish. around there the way I want it. Get my other tweezers. So there's our motor. Now what I'll have to do here is I will need to yeah, I'm not going to trim those up. I think those are fine. It's a little extra wire there, but that won't hurt anything. So we're on to our track pickups here. track pickups for the front that's a speaker I don't want that yet just to hold that out of the way trim those off. That's a little too long. So I guess you will get to see me do a little bit of uh, tinning and fluxing. As much as I didn't want to do that. At least you didn't have to suffer through the rest of it. So we've got our flux on. And now we 
we've got them tinned. Okay, so now we're up off of that stuff. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut these speaker wires. you get to see a little more. So now we can go ahead and use our two speaker pads that are right here. Okay, there's our speakers, or speaker, hooked up. We've got our front hooked up, track pickups. Not sure how dry everything else is here. But you can see down in there where I put the light and of course the keep alive. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll hook this up. We'll leave a little generous amount here that way we can get our shell on and off there's our positive We'll have to redo that one. That. My wire didn't 
was not together. I don't know if you saw that or not, but I'm going to retin that. There we go. There's that. Now, I just need to do my headlight wire. The same will leave a good amount there. flux in there. So we'll start with our function wire. And then our red on this is the common. And I don't know how much of that you saw, but it is on there and I'm going to clean that flux off now. So basically we're done right there. All I have to do is install the decoder, which that's no biggie. There's our new 21 pin decoder, but we've got the lights, and I've got some wire management to do, but we've got our lights, keep alive, everything's good. So I'll do my wire management, and then when I come back, it'll be up on the test track. All right, we've got these uh, C liners up on the turntable, the A and B unit. And of course, they both have the soundtracks, Blue Nami decoders in them, and both have scale sound system speakers. Uh, they both have Nick's Trains decoder buddies in them, and they also have TCS. KA1 keep lives on them. So we'll go ahead. Uh, I don't have these in a consist right now. I've just got them up on the turntable so I can control them independently. Of course, the A unit here, 9448, it only has one lighting function in it. And I'll go ahead and I'll start it up. That's it for this locomotive. There's nothing, nothing fancy in it. Just the one lighting function. So let's move on. And we'll leave that one on. We'll go back to the B unit and I'll start it up. I think you can hear that. But the B unit is very simple itself. It just has the uh, decoder and the sound in it. 
no lighting functions. This does, when I run it together, it does pair up nicely. It's a little, little, it needs a little tweaking, but uh, it is, it is fairly close. So, these were nice, quick, simple installs, and I just thought I'd do them together, and instead of making two videos, I'll just make one. And, uh, yeah, I mean, can't, can't get any simpler than this. So, anyway, we've got these both completed, and uh, thanks for watching.